say deep divers. Have you ever like, I don't know, been watching an online lecture and you kind of zone out for a second and then bam, you see the instructor's face and you're right back in it. Yeah. Yeah. It makes you wonder, right? Like, does just seeing their face actually make a difference in how we learn? Well, get this. There's actual research on that. We took a deep dive into this study by a Dr. Steve Griffiths, and he looked at this exact question. And what's really cool is he didn't just look at test scores. He wanted to understand how seeing an instructor in a video, how it actually changes the way our brains are processing information. OK, so set the scene for us. This Dr. Griffiths, he showed students a video lesson about lightning formation, right? Right. But here's the thing. He split the students into two groups. One group, they saw the instructor explaining the concepts, and they were working on like a transparent whiteboard so you could actually see them working through it. Oh, so kind of like a regular classroom just on video. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. The other group got the same explanations, the same content, but all they saw was like a digital board. No instructor, just the information appearing. Okay, so what happened? Did the students who saw the instructor just ace the test? That's where it gets really interesting. You see, both groups, they learned a lot. But there wasn't a huge difference in their test scores. Really? So it's not like seeing the instructor was some magic bullet for their grades? Nope, not really. But here's the thing. It turns out seeing the instructor, it had a big impact on something called extraneous cognitive load. Extraneous what now? Okay, break that down for us. Okay, so think about it this way. Imagine you're trying to focus on a lecture, right? But there's like a construction crew outside your window making all this noise. That mental effort you're using to tune out that noise, that's extraneous cognitive load. Ah, OK, got it. I've totally been there. So the study found that the students who could actually see the instructor, they had lower levels of that cognitive load. So they weren't necessarily learning more, but they were able to like focus better because they weren't using as much brain power to ignore everything else. So they were learning more efficiently, like their brains weren't so bogged down trying to tune out all the extra stuff. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, it's kind of like the instructor being there. It gave them a roadmap, so to speak, like they could follow along and process the information more easily. OK, that makes total sense. But and I'm just playing devil's advocate here, but wouldn't seeing the instructor also be like a distraction in itself? I mean, don't get me wrong. Everyone loves a charismatic teacher, but wouldn't that be another thing you're trying to pay attention to? You know, you bring up a really good point. And the study actually, they did acknowledge that. Some students actually did find the instructor's presence a little distracting. But here's the thing. Overall, the findings suggested that for most people, the benefits, you know, that reduce cognitive load and the increased engagement, it outweighed any potential downsides. Engagement. Now, tell me more about that. How does seeing someone in a video make you feel more engaged? Have you ever noticed how, like when you're really into what a teacher's saying, even a really tough topic can feel, I don't know, more approachable? Totally. It's like they're right there with you, walking you through it. And it turns out that even in a video, even when it's not live, that human element, it can make a huge difference. Students in this study who saw the instructor, they said they felt more connected to what they were learning. Yeah. Almost like they were having a conversation. That's interesting. So it's like the difference between reading a textbook and having someone like passionately explain it to you. It brings in that whole social element that, let's face it, we all kind of crave. Yeah, it's like we're hardwired for that, right? Yeah, yeah. Seeing the instructor's face, their expressions, even just like their hand gestures, all those little visual cues, it helps us connect with the material on a deeper level. So it's not just about what we're learning, but it's also about how we're learning it. The instructor being there, even on a screen, it creates a whole different environment. 100%. And it's like it adds this richness to the experience. This study found that like being able to see the instructor, especially their facial expressions and their hand gestures, it made the students feel more like they were actually in a classroom, you know, having a conversation with a teacher. And that seemed to make them more motivated, more connected to the whole learning process. OK, so we've talked about how seeing the instructor can reduce that cognitive load and how it can make you feel more engaged. But does that mean we should just ditch all the digital boards and like demand to see those instructors' faces? That is a great question. And the answer, as with most things in life, is it depends. So it's not like a one-size-fits-all kind of thing. Are there times when seeing the instructor is, like, more important? That's what's so cool about this, right? Like, this study looked at one specific topic. But think about all the times you've been in an online course and you're struggling with some concept and you just want that extra bit of help. 
Imagine if you could actually see the instructor, see how excited they are about the topic, or even like how their face changes when they're explaining something really complicated. See, it's like you get that visual connection that can help it click. Exactly. For those really tough concepts, seeing the instructor, it might actually make a big difference. It's like having someone right there with you, guiding you through those rough patches. So it's about finding the right balance then. Right. Sometimes, you know, a digital board, it does the trick. But for more challenging stuff, or if you're just feeling lost, seeing the instructor could be that extra boost to keep you engaged and help you really get it. This has been a fascinating deep dive. I'm actually thinking back on all those online courses I've taken and wondering, like, how much of a difference seeing the instructor might have made? It really makes you think, huh? And it goes beyond just school, right? I mean, we learn so much through videos these days. And this just shows how important those little things are, like actually seeing the person teaching you. For sure. It's like a good reminder to be aware of those things. And hey, maybe next time you're making a video, you'll think twice before you hit record and, you know, let people see your face. Couldn't hurt. So, deep divers, next time you're picking out an online course or even just watching an educational video, think about the format. Does seeing the instructor matter to you? Does it change how you learn? And maybe, just maybe, you can learn something about your own learning style from that. That's all for this deep dive. Keep those brains firing, and we'll catch you on the next one.